This is Athena Stamos, and we're here at Activision Studios with Dino, the associate producer on 007 Legends. Tell us a little bit about the game. This is a really exciting year for the James Bond franchise. It marks the 50th anniversary of James Bond in film. So we figured what better way to kind of celebrate and commemorate this than to make a game that incorporates all of these kind of classic and epic moments throughout the James Bond history. We've incorporated five classic films and we've kind of put them all together and knit them into one overflowing story arc. We also have a bonus mission, which is a sixth mission based on the upcoming movie Skyfall that's going to be available as free DLC coming out after the movie releases. How did you guys go about choosing those specific movies for the missions? And we've incorporated one film from each actor that's ever played Bond. And so we wanted to have a kind of a contrast of things that would lend themselves well to gameplay. We play as the modern day James Bond, Daniel Craig. What was the process in taking these classic movie missions and turning them into modern day? Well, we worked really closely with writer Bruce Fierstein. He's written several Bond movies. And what we did is we took these all and kind of moved them into the modern day, but being really, really careful not to trample on some sacred ground here and like rewrite the story or anything. We have a lot of exciting people to do voices here. You'll see a lot of familiar characters as well, like Odd Job. You'll see Goldfinger. Hugo Drax is played by Michael Lonsdale, so there's an original actor there as well. Kind of been a while since he's done anything Bond related, and at the time when he did this movie, he never saw it being a video game, I'm sure. So I think it's probably really cool for him to see himself kind of like immortalized on the video game screen here. The gaming engine behind this, can you tell us about that? Actually, yes, it was a proprietary engine made by Euricom. It was made for GoldenEye Reloaded last year, but this year we're uh, kind of like taking it to its limit and kind of expanding the levels, making them bigger. But we also have a couple new features like experience. So as you go through the game, as you take out henchmen, or if you do certain other things like sneaking around, um, taking out people stealthily, you unlock experience points, which you can use to uh, purchase attachments for your weapons if you like to run and gun a lot, or you can upgrade your gadgets or your character even. I mean, if you'd like to sneak around, you can be a little more stealthy, and you can increase your health, your run speed, all sorts of really cool new improvements to kind of expand on the way that you like to play this game. There's going to be online multiplayer, as well as four-player split-screen multiplayer. You have a chance to play as some of your favorite villains, and they'll each have special abilities. So like, since Jaws has kind of like a metal grill, he's got a bulletproof face. And Ajab can throw his hat for a one-shot kill, because, I mean, who wouldn't love to run around as Ajab throwing a hat at people and being, like, this much shorter than everybody? For PS3 and X360, it's available October 16th. And for the PC, it's going to be available on the 2nd of November. The Wii U will be available on December 4th.